Hello, and welcome to the first ever Bitch Face vlog. Uh, if you're watching this, it means two things. One, I figured out how to work YouTube, which is super exciting for me. It's definitely a personal triumph. And then two, more importantly, you are probably also interested in making the world a better place and uh, dismantling social injustices, which is so super exciting for me, and I'm glad to have you here. Um, this vlog series, I guess, which will probably be pretty intermittent, um, is just another fun way of interacting with my bitch face friends, or my BFFs, if you will. Um, and so with that being said, today's bitch face and this vlog is brought to you by uh, Mike Jeffries, the CEO of Abercrombie & Fitch, um, who has recently come under a lot of fire for an interview that he has has done um, explaining why his brand and his company have chosen to exclude fat women from being able to participate in and wear um, his branding and his clothing. Um, and so what that looks like, um, if you haven't seen the article, is that uh, they don't offer sizes for women um, above size 10. And uh, their men's line does go up, I believe, to an extra large. It might go up to an extra, extra large. Uh, but he was very vocal in um, letting people know that that is only uh, meant for athletically built individuals. Um, again, definitely not for fat people. Um, if you haven't read the article, it's been circulating around the internet for a couple of days. It's linked in the down box. And I recommend that you check it out. Um, sourcing is always really, really important. Um, and it's also available on the Bitch Face Tumblr and the Bitch Face Facebook, which are also linked in the down box. And um, I guess what I wanted to share in this vlog was my initial reaction to this article, um, in particular as a fat individual um, and as a person who has been fat their entire life and I suspect will probably always be some type of fat. Um, which was to do the following. Uh, I initially just Googled the closest Abercrombie and Fitch um, to discover that the, the nearest one's an hour away. And in my brain, um, I thought, I'm going to get my car and I'm going to drive to Abercrombie and Fitch and I'm going to pick up all the size 10 clothing there is to offer and I'm going to squeeze my size 18 gross fat body into these clothes and I'm just going to take all of the selfies and I'm just going to share it with the world. And here's why, Mike. Here's why. I have nothing to lose by presenting myself to the world. Um, dressed, undressed, in clothing that's too big or clothing that's too small. I'm still a fat person, and it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. It's like, it's not rocket science. Um, and so, yeah. The world gets a good laugh, maybe. Um, and if anything, I expose more and more people to to what it is to be fat and the fact that fat bodies are out there. And, you know, the more you see something, the easier it is for you to accept that it's actually a real thing and to get over it. Just get over it. On the opposite side, what it does for you, Mike, is exactly what you are afraid of, which is fat women fat people in general, wearing your clothing because apparently it makes your brand uh, less viable economically and less interesting despite the fact that you've just been reinventing the polo, and I use the term reinventing very loosely, probably since before I was born. Um, I don't really know how many different ways you can present cut-off shorts and plaid shirts. But I mean, you figured out a way to do it, so I guess I'm wrong. Um, yeah, so that's that's what that is. Um, it's a pretty simple uh, revolutionary act that only benefits me and only serves to do you a disservice and to do your brand and um, the absolute shit that you're perpetuating a disservice. Um, and in my brain, as I'm imagining this playing out, because I love scenes, um, I have a cheeseburger, um, just because they're, you know, greasy and they're hard to keep together in one hand, and I'm just eating a cheeseburger 
over your, you know, perfectly folded, perfectly scrunched boutique style polos, just all up in it. And, you know, I'm probably getting grease all over my face. And I mean, I know it's pretty terrible for you to have to watch a fat person eat something. So I'm just doing that. And everything the light touches, all of your magically board folded shit, all mine, all greased up, and I just reach for a plaid button-up, and it's just a plaid napkin to wipe the grease off of my fat face. And that's how that played out. And it felt pretty good. It felt pretty good to imagine it that way before I started, you know, reasoning myself into understanding the larger academic implications of what it is you're doing. Um, and honestly, you know, universe willing or whatever is in the sky willing, I'll find myself near one of your stores and I'll be able to live that out. And until then, if you live near an Abercrombie and you happen to be a size 12 or larger, please, please do it. Uh, I will happily live vicariously through you. Um, and so I guess what I'm curious about and what I would love to hear from all of you about is like your initial reaction uh, to what was going on. And I think part of it, part of the thing I'm curious about is I saw a lot of people responding very negatively towards his looks. Um, and I'm very uncomfortable. Um, and I think we should all be very uncomfortable with the idea that like responding to somebody who makes people feel bad about themselves, in particular in the way they look, uh, the best response to that is then telling them that they are also not good enough physically, which is really silly, and I'm not okay with that. Um, I won't tolerate that. But if you have something to say outside of, um, oh, my Jeffries are really ugly, I want to hear it. And, um, yeah, tell me about it. Uh, maybe post a video response or um, comment or, you know, talk to me on Tumblr, talk to me on Facebook. And, um, yeah, let's just get the dialogue going. Um, thank you again for watching this, and uh, thank you for your support on both uh, Facebook and Tumblr, and if you have anything else you want to say to me, tell me. I love it, and I love you guys, and I'll talk to you maybe soon, um, but I'll definitely see you soon.